M three year old trotting Colts all lined up in behind the gate and they're moving toward the start. And they're off. Liverman Hanover gets the first call. SJ's Caviar trotting out from the far outside. Diamond Goal closest to the rail and Diamond Goal and Dan Daly move on to the front. CR Kinetic drops in behind him. Gentleman's Spur has gone off stride. Pegasus Spur is now fourth on the inside. SJ's Caviar ranges up past him. Kremlin Conspiracy trots away in six. Cobol is seventh. Mr. Commissioner is on hurried early. Then it's victory abroad and the breaker Gentleman's Spur trails the field. So Diamond Goal just strolls through a 28 and 3 opening quarter. Leverman Hanover sits the pocket in second. SJ's Caviar is taking his time, working to the front, and Bob Blanton and SJ's Caviar up on the outside now to challenge for the lead. CR Kinetic is with the front flight in fourth. Then it's Pegasus Spur trotting along comfortably in fifth. Kremlin Conspiracy is sixth, and Cobol would like to get his cover. Kremlin Conspiracy now does commit to the outside, and Pegasus Spur also edges out. Victory Abroad trots up into seventh. Mr. Commissioner, a tough spot for for him, he's waiting for the cover flow to develop from ninth. The half was slow and only 57 and three. And Gentleman Spur is far behind, trailing the field. So SJ's Caviar starts to quicken now. SJ's Caviar is three lengths clear with three eights to go. Diamond Goal is trying to stick within striking range in second. Then it's Liverman Hanover two lengths further back in third. Pegasus Spur is fourth, and CR Kinetic is trapped in on the inside fifth. SJ's Caviar hits three quarters and 126 flat, and they. Come to the top of the stretch. It's SJ's Caviar, and he is moving smoothly with a three length lead. Diamond Goal is second. Pegasus Spur toward the outside third. Liverman Hanover takes a peek at the pylon. CR Kinetic is coming. SJ's Caviar leads it. Pegasus Spur and O'Donnell making some progress to him on the outside, but SJ's Caviar is well in hand. SJ's Caviar again. Pegasus Spur second. CR Kinetic third. Mr. Commissioner fourth, and Diamond Goal appeared to get fifth. 153 and 4. To the winner's circle. The winner of the first Bud Beacon course, elimination number 9, SJ's Caviar. Three year old SJ's photo cult out of spawning by TV Yankee, all by Eli Solomon, Don Bartling, and the Cosmos Horsebreeders from Maryland and Pennsylvania, trained by Belinda Blanton of the Bob Blanton Jr. Stable. And one of the great stories over the last couple of years in harness racing, Bob Blanton Jr. in the sulky. SJ's Caviar, two starts back, won the Million Dollar Canadian Trotting Classic. He is not eligible to the Hamiltonian and hopes to make his mark on the Meadowlands here in the Budweiser Beacon course. The time, 153 and 4, lifetime record for SJ's Caviar. The back half was in 56 and 1, and the final quarter, 27 and 4. Former horseshoer from the Midwest, Bob Blanton Jr., who specializes in a small stable of trotters with perhaps one of the best here, SJ's Caviar, 153 and 4 fifths. Well, we're in the winner's circle here. The connections here for the Budweiser and Beacon Quest first elimination. Bob Blanton, Eli Solomon, one of the owners. Bob Blanton, last year when you sold Shadow, did you know that SJ's Caviar was a very good horse? Is that one of the reasons you sold him? No, it wasn't a reason to sell Shadow, but uh, Caviar hadn't showed up yet. He, he just hadn't done his thing yet. He made a break in the historic, and even though Eli tied me 57.3 in his mile, we still didn't know we had a Caviar yet. And, uh, and the whole two-year-old year, we babied him and still win the 58 at Pocono, so we didn't know we'd have this. No way. Okay, now you, you certainly have something. You won the million dollar Canadian Trotting Classic. Uh, if he had to, could he race off the pace, or is he going to the front and winning races because he's the best? He's, he's won off the pace uh, with a Canadian Trotting Classic uh, final uh, set forth. But tonight he was, he says, I'm going to win no matter what, so he did. And in the first one, it took you a while to get the lead. Once you did, you just, you know, threw a 56 and one back half at him. Yeah, we just take our time. Uh, there's no sense getting there in 26 or 27, you know. Just take our time and we'll get there. Did mail you the check for the final now? Is the what? Mail you the check for the final, you think, or should we wait on that? Don't give it to me.
Okay, well, I see no H next to his name. Why SJ's caviar and shadow were not Hamiltonian eligibles? What's the reason for that again? Uh, I can't answer that. I'll let the owner answer that. Okay, Eli Solomon, uh, how'd you get hooked up, Mr. Blanton? Several years ago, uh, I had a two-year-old racing at Ocean Downs, and I noticed uh, Magic Stroke and Bob Blanton, and I was very impressed. Even though she made a break in that race, I thought she was uh, perhaps the second best in the division that year. Uh, several years later, when I was looking for a trainer to place the horses coming back from the meadows, um, I put in a cold call to Bob and uh, finally hooked up with him and uh, gave him some horses, and uh, we made the move here about three years ago. Did you ever think you'd have a leading trotting horse in North America early first week in July? Uh, this year, perhaps. Before that, no. <laughs> and what, and who's to blame for the no H, no, no Hamiltonian eligibles? I take full responsibility for that. Uh, the colt was really sick uh, after we bought him at the yearling sale, and uh, we had to make a decision around the end of February. And even Don Bartling, who has his first trotter here, said to me, well, let's keep him eligible. I said, Don, I don't even know if he's going to live leave aside race. So uh, I take full responsibility. But, you know, Bob, I don't think that uh, you can look back on those things. I've told uh, several people uh, the philosophy I have is if you uh, uh, ignore the past, you're doomed to make the same mistakes again. But on the other hand, if you don't look toward the future, you'll never achieve it. You'll never get there. So that means Bob Blanton's driving in the final. Okay, great. SJ's Caviar, Bob Blanton, and Eli Solomon. Good luck in the Budweiser Thank Beacon you. Course final.